Hi, uh, my name is Thomas. Uh, I work at the Czech Technical University in Prague and I also work for the Arcor team uh, on, on R. And I would like to tell you something about encoding uh, support in R. Encoding defines uh, how a character maps to a sequence of bytes. Uh, different encodings support different sets of characters and they map them differently. Uh, commonly used encodings with R are ASCII on all operating systems, UTF-8 on Unix systems, and uh, Latin One and many others as well on Windows. Um, ASCII uh, maps one character to one byte using only seven bits from uh, the byte. Uh, the text he hello in this uh, slide is mapped to the five uh, bytes as, as shown here. Uh, ASCII only supports the English language. Uh, Latin one uh, is a superset of ASCII. It uses eight bits of a byte to represent a single character. The Latin text uh, Grise uh, from German is uh, represented using the bytes shown here. G, R and E uh, are the same uh, bytes as in ASCII. Latin one is a common encoding uh, in R on Windows uh, for users from uh, the United States uh, and Western European countries but Latin one is also used in other countries in, in the world. Uh, SJSWIN, for example, is an encoding uh, used in Japan. Uh, it also supports uh, Russian and English, but primarily it is for Japanese. Uh, it is a double byte character set, which means that uh, one character is encoded using one or two bytes. Uh, in this example we have three characters and the first two are each represented by two bytes. Uh, the third character uh, in the example is an exclamation mark which is represented using a single byte and as the same byte as it would be in ASCII. Uh, there is a number of other uh, double byte uh, character sets uh, used on Windows with R by people from Asia. Uh, UTF-8 uh, is an encoding that maps one character to one to four bytes. So it's a so-called multi-byte character set. Uh, the text Grisa is represented uh, using the bytes shown here. G, R and E are representing uh, uh, using the same bytes and ASCII and U and sharp S are represented each using uh, two bytes as shown here. What is important is that UTF-8 supports all languages. Um, it also dominates the web use today and it's the default on all current operating systems uh, that are used with R except Windows. Uh, so, operating systems uh, have the concept of native encoding. It's the encoding that is currently uh, expected by the operating system and the C library in uh, the strings that are passed to them. Uh, on Unix, uh, it is one native encoding at a time and today by default it is UTF-8 even though one can change it. On Windows things are more complicated. There are uh, two current native encodings, one for uh, the C library and one for the operating systems with additional details that complicate things. Also applications may choose to use UTF-16 instead, ignoring the uh, encoding that is set by the locale. Um, in R, character objects on the heap represent strings 
uh, one character object for one element of a string vector. Uh, each character object uh, can be stored in a different encoding and there is a flag uh, saying which encoding it is. Uh, the flag can be uh, saying it's UTF-8, uh, Latin one. Uh, it may also say it's unknown, which means that it is either ASCII, which is a subset of all encodings supported by R, or it means it's a native encoding uh, that is neither UTF-8 nor Latin one. So, for instance, it could be this uh, SGSWIN uh, encoding for Japanese on on Windows. Uh, in addition to these three values, uh, one can also use uh, bytes encoding, which is not really an encoding. It means that we are not working with uh, strings, but with uh, byte arrays, and this is for expert use only, mostly. Uh, this works nicely on Unix uh, when the native encoding is UTF-8. When we enter the string reset uh, by typing or pasting, uh, we get the encoding flag for it, UTF-8. Uh, a string hello gets uh, encoding flag unknown because it's ASCII. Uh, on Windows, uh, running in Latin 1 uh, locale encoding, uh, uh, again we can enter reset, pasting, or we have the German keyboard typing and uh, it will get the latin one fly and we can also enter grisa uh, using the backslash u escapes uh, which then mean that it will be a utf8 string uh, r will automatically convert the string to the right encoding if it needs to uh, and things work well uh, except when they don't and i will speak about it later uh, the internal encoding support in R, hence uh, it supports uh, multiple encodings on input and output. It's very many encodings that are supported via the ICONF library. Uh, character objects uh, supports the encoding I have uh, said. And what is very important, uh, sometimes R needs to convert uh, strings to the native encoding. Uh, this is necessary uh, often when passing strings to uh, external libraries uh, or to code that is uh, from external projects but has been incorporated into R. Sometimes it's also necessary to pass it to some R subsystems that have been designed uh, to work with, uh, with, with byte arrays. So sometimes strings are converted to the native encoding. Symbols in R are in native encoding, for instance. Uh, so, uh, this uh, brings a limitation to Windows uh, and R. Uh, the native encoding on Windows cannot be UTF 8, it cannot be any other Unicode encoding, uh, and hence it cannot represent all characters. Printing in R then already requires conversion to the native encoding. So this Japanese string that I have shown before, uh, we can't even print in R term. We will get some weird escapes as shown here when running uh, in Windows in Latin 1 locale. It would work fine uh, when Windows was running in uh, Japanese locale, but not in Latin 1. Uh, so how to prevent getting into these problems? Well, only work with strings that can be represented in your native encoding. And if there is no Windows locale with such encoding, use Linux. Unfortunately, that's the simplest case today and you will not have these problems. Um, also, I would recommend to use ASCII only for file names, directory names, and usernames. And um, in addition, not for encoding reasons, but in addition also only letters, numbers, and other score and dots. Um, but still, how, how to improve things on the R side, how to become more permissive? Uh, using UTF-16 on Windows is, is not a solution. 
Uh, UTF-16, or it was UCS2, has been adopted by Windows a uh, long time ago, and perhaps too early. Uh, it's an encoding that is not used by uh, most software. Uh, most open source software uh, uses uh, UTF-8. Uh, and uh, one needs to write platform-specific, Windows-specific code to be able to take advantage of the UTF-16 API. Uh, we could change R to do it, and in parts we have uh, changed R to do it on Windows, uh, but this could never be the main encoding in R, uh, because we have so much external software that will never work with UTF-16, and this is not really used by platform-independent code. Uh, but there is a solution now. Uh, very recently, Windows 10 came with uh, support for UTF-8 that is already sufficient. Uh, one can uh, set UTF-8 as the default uh, native encoding, as uh, both of them, as I said before, there are two on Windows, uh, and it can be done for R, so selectively for applications. This is great. Uh, R has to be changed only a little bit to support uh, UTF-8 as native encoding. I did it change, uh, but it was simple because uh, we already supported it on other systems. But uh, the problem is that uh, UTF-8 on Windows requires a new C library. Uh, it requires UCRT, which is the Universal C Runtime in Microsoft terminology. And uh, to be able to use it, we need a new toolchain, unfortunately. Uh, we need a toolchain that will build uh, everything with this new uh, C Runtime. We, R2 score is not new enough. Uh, and we have to rebuild our libraries for packages, uh, all packages and, and R. Uh, as a proof of concept, I have created an experimental toolchain for R uh, that is good enough to build R itself, uh, the base packages and the recommended packages. Uh, and uh, I have described the details in my blog post uh, and even more details in a technical write-up. And I also created a custom R build with an R installer that anyone can use to play with this. Also, one can download my, my toolchain. Uh, the toolchain only supports uh, uh, some packages, not all CRAN and Bioconductor packages. Uh, with this custom build, uh, in R term, uh, after setting the code page to UTF-8 and choosing a suitable font, one can uh, print uh, the Japanese string I've shown before. Uh, the native encoding is UTF-8, so nothing happens when printing, no conversion, uh, because it's already in UTF-8 and it can be represented in UTF-8. So that's all from me. I hope uh, I have explained the basics of the R encoding support. Uh, more is available in uh, my blog and of course in uh, the R manuals. And I hope I have also explained uh, to you that R actually supports Unicode. Uh, the problem on Windows is uh, setting UTF-8 as the native encoding. And uh, what we need for that is a new toolchain uh, to rebuild R and packages. Thank you.